All right, this is the ideal play. And right now I am trying to charge it with the solar panel. It's kind of hard to see in the screen right now, but we're getting about 50 watts in. Right now I'm just testing this out doing uh, with the Y splitters that they included. I'm doing this in parallel with the solar watts. So this has a very nice hefty handle on each side. On this side, you'll have the overload protection button. Here's your inputs, your AC input for the fast charge. The solar input right here, max 500 watts. On this side, you'll have your AC button. And inside, you'll see the six plugs with the negative the grounding plugs. Rated at 2,200 watts total. Here's the ideal play. There's the power button. As you see, we're powered on right now. The screen's a little hard to see during the day out in the bright sunlight. But right now I'm charging at about 60 watts, 29% capacity in about 25 minutes of charging. And of course, no output right now, just input. On the left side, we have a 12 volt, 10 amp. And you have a 12 volt, 25 amp. There we go. And then we have two barrel plugs right here, the 12 volts, three amps. And there's the power button for this. And then in the middle, we have the power button here, and it'll charge up two USB-Cs, two quick charge, and then two normal uh, five volts, 2.4 amps. On the right side, we have the light. SOS, flashing. All right, so right now I'm testing the AC charging. And as you can see, we are doing the super charging at about 1099 to 1100 watts. And you'll see, we will charge this whole big old power station in about 79 minutes. As you can see, super charging is a game changer. All right, so now we're going to test the AC plug. I plugged in my blow dryer here. So currently, we're at zero input and output. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Back to normal. This blow dryer is about hot air. This is low with hot air. So you use about 600 watts. And you can easily dry your hair. And this will run for at least an hour at 35% capacity. 